In my last video, I overwent a method to take a sample of yeast from a yeast bank and grow it up to enough yeast to brew 5 gallons of beer. Although this method works very well, it requires some equipment like stir plates and flasks, which not all brewers have. So in this video, I'm going to go over an alternative method using pop bottles to achieve the same end. To start, prepare 1 cup or 250 ml of 1.040 standard gravity wort. While you're simmering the wort to sanitize it, uh, sanitize a funnel and a 2 liter pop bottle. Make sure the pop bottle is well drained, and if you sanitized using bleach, be sure to rinse it once or twice. Cool the wort to room temperature, and then using the funnel, transfer it into the bottle. Next, tightly cap the bottle and shake vigorously in order to oxygenate your wort. Once oxygenated, remove the cap, replace the funnel, and add the yeast to the bottle. Once the yeast are added, replace the cap. Don't screw it down too tightly as you want it loose enough that carbon dioxide can escape as the yeast ferment. The secret to maximizing your yield of yeast is to oxygenate as frequently as you can. What this means is every time you pass the bottle, you need to squeeze out the air from the bottle, expand the bottle so fresh air can get back in, tighten the cap, and shake for a good 30 to 40 seconds in order to thoroughly oxygenate the wort. You need to do this at least four times a day. In roughly two days, you should have the maximum number of yeast that you will produce from the smaller culture. We now need to step up to a larger culture in order to get our yeast numbers closer to what we need. As before, we need 1.040 wort, but this time we need 1.5 liters, or 6 cups of wort. Simmer the wort for 15 minutes to sanitize. At the same time, sanitize your funnel, but don't do anything to the yeast in the bottle. Cool your wort, and once cooled, use it to top up the wort in the bottle. This should give you a total of 1,750 mils, or 7 cups of wort in total. This is enough wort to grow up roughly 40 billion yeast, which is enough for a mild ale. Again, it's absolutely critical that we keep this wort well oxygenated, meaning after adding the new wort, you need to shake this vigorously, and you should be shaking it vigorously at every opportunity, again, at least four times a day. As a reminder, Every time you're shaking these, you want to make sure you squeeze out all of the air in order to get rid of the carbon dioxide that is built up. Let the bottle re-expand to bring in fresh oxygen, tighten the cap, and shake vigorously for at least 30 seconds. Then loosen the cap so fermentation products can escape and your bottle doesn't explode. Now up to this point, we've only grown 40 billion yeast, which is enough for a mild ale. If you want to brew a stronger ale or a lager, you of course need more yeast. To do this, place a bottle in a fridge for 24 to 48 hours. This will let the yeast settle. You can then decant the spent wort and replace it with fresh 1.040 wort. Uh, 1.8 liters should be enough. Let it grow for another two to three days. You should now have enough yeast for a strong ale or an average lager. Once you've prepared your yeast, you need to pitch it into the beer. I would recommend against using the full volume as there's a lot of off flavor compounds in here and there's enough volume that it could offset your beer. Instead, place your yeast in the fridge overnight or for a day or two. This will let the yeast settle. You can then decant the spent wort, resuspend the yeast in a small volume, and pitch that into your beer. Thank you for watching this video. On my blog, you can find additional information on this process, including step up tables and pitching guides. A link to this blog post can be found in the video description.